Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the automated Kanban Excel template. First, let's go into the team members page. This is one of the three set of pages that will allow you to visualize your tasks progress and overall situation. Here, you can enter as many team member names as you want. Let's add a new one that we'll call Mark Zuckerberg. Great. Now we'll go to the projects page. This is where we list the projects that we'll attach our tasks to. Let's create a new project called demo project. Perfect. Now let's move on to the final and most important input page, the task page. This table will allow you to create and modify tasks. We'll go through the process of adding a new task together. We'll call our new task, demo task. We'll attach it to our newly created project, the demo project. And we'll assign our newly created team member, Mark Zuckerberg. Now, regarding the priority, we'll just set it as a medium priority. For the start date, we'll set it as the 13th of July. For the end date, we'll set it as the 31st. The duration automatically calculates based on the end date and the start date. Regarding the status, we'll just set it as doing. And for the percent complete, We'll just set it as 10%. The overdue column automatically calculates based on the due date and the status. Before moving on to the analysis part, let's make sure everything is up to date by opening the data tab and clicking refresh all. Awesome, we're ready to start visualizing. Let's go to the core of this tool, the Kanban board. You will notice that all our tasks are grouped by status and all display the task name, the person it is assigned to, and the due date. That way you can easily visualize the overall situation in a glance. The color coding will ind indicate the task with a low, medium, or high priority. The tasks in red are crucial, whereas the one in green do not hold as much importance. Finally, a little flag in the task card will indicate if the task is overdue or not. If you check in the top right corner, there are three slicers that allow you to filter the Kanban board and view only specific tasks by team member, project, or overdue. Let's look at the task under our newly created team member, Mark Zuckerberg. We immediately see the task we just created, as you can see, it is under the doing status and the orange flag, flag indicates that it is a medium priority task. As I said, we can also choose to filter by project. Like this. Or only visualize the overdue tasks. Or the ones that aren't overdue. Now, let's go to the dashboard. Unlike the Kanban board, you do not see a task detail, but more of an overview of the main metrics that are crucial to understand the overall progress and situation. On the left-hand side, you can visualize numbers that are representative of the overall situation. We have the total number of cards or tasks, the overall percent progress, the number of overdue tasks, and the percentage they represent. We then have a card by status bar graph, pretty self-explanatory, and cards by priority donut chart, which shows the different priority levels, high, medium, and low, by percentage. Finally, on the very right, we have the number of tasks by team member and by status for the first graph, and task by team member and by priority for the second one. That's it. You know everything you need to know about our automated Kanban board and you're ready to start using it.